Welcome to another live stream of the Ahmadi Religion of Peace and Light. Um, we are very excited. We just received breaking news that uh, some of our Turkish brothers and sisters have gone out in Istanbul um, on a public square. Uh, we can see them right there and uh, inspired by the speeches of Abba al-Sadiq and inspired by what has been happening to um, the Algerians, to the Iranians, to the Ansar around the world. They are going out today on Labor Day to preach their faith and here we can see uh, one of our brothers. Um, we're trying to connect so we also can hear the audio, can hear what he is saying. But what we were told by those present on the square is that he is actually talking about um, talking about the tenets of our religion. He is talking about a new covenant that has appeared, the seventh covenant uh, between God and mankind. And we are extremely proud to see this. We're extremely excited, but at the same time, we are also very worried about him right now. Um, because as we know, the Turkish government uh, cracks down very heavily on dissidents. The Turkish government says that they are um, a free government, at least that's what Erdogan is trying to portray, but we know that this is not actually the truth. And we also know that there is actually a, a law in Turkey um, that um, penalizes a blasphemy and any statement that is possible to, that insult, that might insult um, the religion of um, Islam. And even though we are not insulting Islam, but some of our beliefs are considered by mainstream Muslims to be heretical. And that is why um, we had, for example, the Algerians who have been uh, imprisoned while sitting in their own homes. Um, they were arrested and put in prison um, for believing in the Ahmadi religion of peace and light. And now here we have uh, one of our Turkish brothers uh, standing on a public square on Labor Day preaching um, the religion. Now I'm hoping uh, that we can also connect the audio so we can hear him um, because we really want to know um, what he is saying. But from what we have been uh, from what we have been told by the people present with him is that he is going to talk about. Um, he is going to talk about the new covenant that has been uh, that has come down. He is talking about um, Abu al-Sadiq and how he is um, the bringer of a new covenant, and that the sixth covenant with mankind has been broken. So the sixth covenant, uh, as we all know, was the covenant that Muhammad um, had with mankind, um, what is known as the religion of Islam, and the Seventh Covenant is a continuation of that covenant. And he is preaching the Seventh Covenant right now um, on the street um, in Istanbul on Labor Day. And we can see that he is very, very passionate. Yes, he's very passionate. He's uh, shouting from the top of his lungs. And um, it is actually a bit worrisome because we have examples in Turkey where a famous singer has said in one of her songs we're getting yeah, we're getting now audio that Adam and Eve was ignorant and they had uh, she got charged and we say more than what the uh, singer said yes. so yeah, it was a bit worrisome uh, that uh, yes, he's right now talking about the covenants. I can hear you saying Musa, he's talking about yeah, the third. Yeah, he's talking about the third, uh, fourth covenant now. Yes, he's going through the covenants. Is he now announcing the Yes, he's talking about how they have oppressed the messengers of God throughout all the ages. And how they have killed all the prophets. And how they have killed the... And we have already police there walking yes. by the side. Yeah, two of them just walked past by. We have already some onlookers. Yes, I'm sure these two yes. men passed by to check out the situation, exactly. to see what he's saying, to see yeah. what is going on. 
Um, as we said, it is Labor's Day today in Turkey, so it's actually a national holiday. Uh, this is a public square in Istanbul. And um, there is Article 216 of um, the Turkish Penal Code actually criminalizes um, saying anything about uh, the religion of Islam that could be considered as provoking or insulting. And you just mentioned that there was a famous yes. Turkish singer who really all they said was that Adam and Eve were ignorant. And Erdogan said about them, um, if need be, it is our duty to tear out those tongues. And we are saying much more than that, as you just said. We are saying that there's a new covenant, that Islam is um, was the sixth covenant, but the sixth covenant was broken, and now we are in a new covenant. What is he talking about right now? He's right now talking about the Islamic calendar. How about Ramadan? Ramadan? Yes, and about Ramadan. Yeah, this is definitely also something that can be perceived as very controversial in the, in the Arab world, in Turkey. Yes, definitely. They would consider this as an insult to the religion. And we have right now already somebody. We have security officers or police in uh, undercover because you have on these types of holidays you have undercover police there and you have already now two yes. of them uh, uh, approaching Haidar and wanted yes, to know what is going on. He just showed the ID. That is definitely the police. I mean, it didn't even take longer than five minutes. And now we have already the police, the Turkish police, uh, talking to now the police is surrounding them. And they're trying to take the flag. They're checking what this is. And to, okay, the police now took the camera. Let's stop the live stream. So it took literally wow. two to three minutes. Um, wow. Yes. So this was on a public square. We can on a public square. Yeah. yeah. That's the police radio. So yes, the police has taken definitely, definitely taking their phones. Yes. So we had. Um, it is confirmed that there were four uh, Turkish Ansar. We can still hear them. Yeah, we can hear the police chatter on the radio. It is unclear. It's inaudible. But it is, what is definitely clear that there were four four Ansar in Turkey, yes. Istanbul, on a public square, um, preaching the seventh covenant, preaching yes. the Ahmadi religion of peace and light. It took, what, five minutes? Yes, not yeah, I mean, he was just minutes. talking about the covenants, how the prophets were oppressed and killed throughout all the ages, and he talked about the um, Islamic calendar being false, and that was enough to... Oh, we were back online. Yeah, we were back online. And this seems to be, yeah, we have a police car. They're definitely now checking the uh, phone. They're, I hope they can see us. We could say hello to the Turkish police. So it's okay. Yes. Yeah. So we can still see clearly they have been taken uh, to the side. Their phones have been taken. We can hear some audio. So I, can, I think I can hear Haider saying that we are here everywhere, that the religion is, that we have believers all around the world. We can see the police officers here in the video, still live streaming. They're questioning Haider. He is now giving dawah to the police. Okay, now. And connection has Connection lost. Now, for everyone who uh, just joined, this was breaking news. Um, four Ansar, uh, Turkish Ansar, went out in a public square in Istanbul. 
and um, proclaimed the Seventh Covenant, proclaimed the Ahmadi religion of peace and light. Um, it took less than five minutes for the police, for at least four police officers, maybe more. Some there were more than four police officers, many of them undercover. Yes, walking up to them and uh, stopping him from preaching with our banner. Uh, they took them to the side. We could still see that they were questioning them about the beliefs and uh, what it is that they are uh, proclaiming. And all he was really saying is that there's a new covenant and that yes. the... Um, uh, Ramadan is not actually uh, in the in the yes, part of the Yes, that people are calendar. fasting on the wrong month. Exactly, that people are fasting in the wrong month and that the month of Ramadan is actually in December. And that was enough for the Turkish police to walk up to him and stop him and also stop everyone who was with him, who yes. was filming. I mean, the police, you saw them, they just... Uh, Tore the flag from his hands. Yes. So this, uh, I think, um, now it is very clear that we cannot practice our faith uh, in Turkey. Turkey is not a country of freedom of belief. Um, the only time you can actually believe what you want is if you hide in your house and you do not talk about it. But that is not freedom of belief. I mean, this was just a confirmation from all the articles uh, and news that we can read online. We can see here in 2017, they had 4,900 investigations um, in, um, into, blasphemy. into blasphemy, and 1,000 people got charged. In 2018, we have 6,333 investigations with 1,900 people charged. 2019, we have 9,500 investigations and 2,400 people charged. We can see that Turkey uh, is not what it claims to be. No, Turkey is clearly not a country that allows freedom of belief. And now we have seen that, as we know, the members of the Ahmadi religion of peace and light in Algeria were arrested when they were just practicing their faith in their own home. Now, here in Turkey, we had one of our brothers. Um, we had one of our yes, brothers. Yes, so we are receiving right now videos. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, we can. Okay. Uh, yes, we have some updates <laughs> videos. This is what happened. Let's do open all the access to every area. Proclaiming the problems and lies. Who's the villains? The locusts. Every area. Ilahi, Adalet, Devleti, Erzurum, Davudul Muhru, Süleymanul Muhru. Artık tüm dünyada bizler tüm dünyada rahat ve huzur içinde yaşamıyoruz. Açıkça herkesin bilmesini istiyoruz. Tüm kardeşlerimiz İran'da, Cezayir'de, Mısır'da, herkes şu anda cezaevlerinde. İmam Mehdi Aleyhisselam bütün dünyaya ve bütün hukukalarını verdiştir. İmam Mehdi Aleyhisselam Mısır'da, Abdullah Haşim Aleyhisselam Mısır'da, Ehl-i Beyt Aleyhisselam şöyle buyurmuştur. Kain kıyamet dininde yeni bir din ile gelecek. İnsanlara zor gelecek. Öyle zor ki insanlar bunu kaldıramayacak. Ey insanlar Allah'a gelin, ahitlere gelin. Adem Aleyhisselam'da yapılan haydi Adem Aleyhisselam unuttu. Kur'an'da şöyle geçer. Adem'i azimli bulamadık der. Allah İlahi Nur'u yine Nuh Aleyhisselam'la devam ettirdi ve insanlar onu yalanladı. Allah bütün kavme helak edici azaplar anladı. İbrahim Aleyhisselam'la yine bir ahit bağlandı ve Allah insanların bütün dinlerini karıştırdı. Musa Aleyhisselam'la yeni bir ahit bağlandı. Ve yine İsrail oğulları Musa Aleyhisselam'a zulmetti. Allah yine de Musa Aleyhisselam'ı tüm dünyaya hükümler kıldı. Sonunda İsa Aleyhisselam geldi. İsa Aleyhisselam benden sonra gelecek. Adı Ahmet olan birini bildirdi. 
Yes, yeah, so we just watched this video um, of Haider. It is extremely inspiring. He is very passionate. You can see that this is a man who really wants to express his religion. He's extremely passionate about his religion. And you can also see that he just has enough of hiding in his house, uh, pretending to be um, a mainstream Muslim when there is more to his belief than that. Yes. And so he went on the street, he proclaimed the Seventh Covenant. Um, and uh, what we could not see in the video for everyone who just tuned in is that just a minute after this, he was arrested by several policemen, some undercover, some in uniform. Uh, they stopped him. They took the phone from those who were broadcasting to us and sending us the videos. And now we actually do not know what happened to um, Haider. There he is, um, which is a proof for the fact that the Ahmadi religion of peace and light um, cannot be lived freely and practiced freely in Turkey. What is most probably going to happen is that they're going to keep him at the police station and he will have to go to court because obviously if they make a problem with the famous singer to have just said Adam and Eve as uh, they were ignorant, um, they will try to give him a hard punishment. Yes, absolutely. So if, if Erdogan already said, uh, which was a very famous uh, comment of his, that if need be, it is our duty to tear out those tongues of people who say Adam and Eve were ignorant, then clearly uh, what we are saying to people like Erdogan is more uh, blasphemous and is uh, more dangerous. So uh, this was an extremely uh, a brave man, and we really hope that um, uh, nothing uh, severe is going to happen to him because you cannot obviously uh, trust the Turkish police. We do not know. We, we know that they crack down very hard yes. on any dissidents, on anyone who speaks up or anyone who has a differing opinion. Yes. And um, as you just mentioned, um, in 2019, there were over 2,000 people charged with blasphemy. It is an actual um, law. It took less than five minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. It literally took less than five minutes for him to be uh, arrested and taken aside that was, by the That police. was crazy. I didn't expect it to be this fast. Yes. I mean, we hope he's okay. We hope he's all right. Yes. We will update you with any news on, on, on Haider's uh, fate. Um, I guess um, this just, um, yeah, this was very important uh, for, because we have talked before about the fate of our brothers and sisters in, uh, in Algeria. Um, we have talked about the fate of our brothers and sisters in Iran. In Algeria, for example, we had a congregation of believers ga gathering uh, in a house in Bijaya together, um, around 20 people. Uh, they were not doing what Haider was doing. They were not going out on the street no. and preaching. And yet, um, just because they gathered together in a house, believing something that is slightly different from mainstream Islam, uh, something that uh, the leaders, the Islamic uh, rulers would consider threatening, um, he, they were um, taken uh, to the police station several times. They were taken by the military. And they were told to um, stop what they uh, believe in, and there was a fatwa issued against them. Uh, we actually have uh, this fatwa. Um, it was said that they are guilty, the Algerians, of mocking religion and mocking the rituals of Islam. And one of the things that the fatwa includes and mentions as heretical is that um, we do not believe that prayer is said in a specific way. And um, we believe that the, Rama, uh, the month of Ramadan is set in December. So uh, in the Algerian fatwa, this is also mentioned as something that is considered heretical. And this is exactly what Haider was preaching today on Labor's Day uh, in Istanbul on a public square. And that is why he was uh, arrested. He, He's being arrested, which yes. is good news that he got arrested. Yes. Uh, getting these messages here as well. Yes, so the Turkish answer have updated us, our Turkish brothers and sisters, that Haider has actually uh, been taken into custody. So we were, of course, hoping that they would take the phone away. They would tell him maybe to stop preaching uh, his faith because clearly he wasn't harming anybody. He wasn't doing anything illegal. All he was doing is, we saw the video, standing on the square with our flag, with our banner that we are proud of, and he was preaching what he believes in. S 
So um, this is what he uh, this is what he did. We are getting updates as we speak, but unfortunately, um, he was taken into custody. He wasn't just told to stop. And this is again another proof for the Turkish government, for Erdogan not, uh, being someone who does not allow freedom of religion. The Turkish government does not allow um, any other religion than mainstream Islam. Yes, we have. Uh, Turkish Ansar Hikmet from Turkey. He has uh, new updates for us on the latest events. Hikmet, can you hear us? Hikmet, can you hear us? Yes. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Do you have any updates? Wa alaikum salam. I just learned from one brother. Uh, that they catch uh, Haydar Kuybulu, Hasan Oyandı, and Kenan Çakır. So they have now, detained three uh, of our brothers? Three of the believers in the Ahmed sorry? religion of peace and light? Yes, for just for believing and to just for they called people in the street for Ahmad religion. Therefore, they catched all of them. And one brother, Kenan Çakır, he made video. They, therefore, they t took him too. So just one brother, uh, Sardar, remained, and uh, he ran from there. Okay, so three have been detained. Um, two of them just for making a video. They weren't even uh, talking uh, about the religion, but just for making a video of what yes. was happening, they've been taken into custody, yeah? Exactly. D do we know which police station they're being held in at the moment? No, at the moment, I don't know where they took him. Now I should I will uh, ask uh, that brother who could escape from them, and I will ask him to, for news, any update. I can inform you again. Yes, please, please uh, keep us updated. And what do you think, as a um, as someone who lives in Turkey? What do you think is gonna happen? Do, is there freedom of belief in in Turkey? Uh, I, I uh, the problem is that in Turkey. Already, yani we can't leave our religion here because uh, everything is just on the paper, on the law. But in reality, in practice, whoever uh, comes with uh, and uh, calls people to a new religion which they don't know, directly they catch them because uh, they don't want uh, people to share the religion which is not uh, which uh, which is un which is not under the. Uh, control of the government. Yes. And, uh, yes. And because of this, uh, now we don't know what will happen with them. Uh, they can give, they put them in prison, or uh, I don't know. Yeah, I will. I will try to learn about uh, all details about them, and I will return to you. Yes. Thank you thank very you, much. Man. Keep us updated. Yeah, and it's very difficult in Turkey. It's very difficult. Yeah, and, uh, the conditions for religious. Me, aspect is very difficult because uh, they <coughs> uh, they don't allow anyone to speak uh, the truth they want uh, their religion is already in, is, uh, the islam even is controlled by the uh, government and they don't allow people to show the uh, the truth about uh, the government and be because the government use the religion islam religion to control the people. Therefore, true. they don't want anything against the government, anything they see, any little thing against government, they directly catch, and you cannot prove anything to them. Yes, Hikmet. We, we absolutely agree, and this is also um, what we have seen in recent years from Turkey, what we have proven with statistics, and what we just saw uh, in the video um, with, um, with Brother Haider. Yes. Yes, Hikmet, can you hear us? Uh, uh, I will ask. Uh, I just connection. I lost the connection. I didn't hear. Yes, just update us whenever uh, whenever you hear okay. more. Please keep us updated uh, about uh, what okay. has happened to them. Okay. Thank okay. you very much Thank for calling you. in. Welcome. Thank you. Bye. Hikmet, this is right. We have in Turkey the biggest uh, religious body that uh, is in control over there in Turkey is the Diyanet. And they are controlled by Erdogan and by the government in general. 
and they give uh, synchronized khutbah. So the khutbah that they give in Istanbul, you can hear it in the east of Turkey. It, it is the same. All the imams, all the, all the um, uh, responsible over these mosques are giving the same khutbah as a, as a tool to spread the propaganda of uh, the Turkish government. And obviously, if you have people that are speaking up against uh, against the you don't you base you when you say you're against the religion or you say something controversial you automatically with that uh, criticize the government exactly so this is a perfect example yeah. of what we do not stand for we do not stand for government religions and institutionalized religion we at the Ahmadi religion of peace and light we believe that there always has to be a vice turn and that the religion has to come from who from God and that from the messenger of God and not from Erdogan or some worldly ruler who doesn't even say himself oh yeah I have a connection to God or I am from God and yet he decides that he wants to dictate uh, religion with what from yes, which authority? Yes, he is playing God. Yes, interview. exactly. But he also clearly states with his own words that he's a political leader, not a religious leader. So um, this is exactly something that we are criticizing, and this is why they are so afraid of us because these types of rulers do not speak in the name of God. Um, they are oppressing their own people, as we have just seen. They are cracking down on any differing opinions. Um, government criticism, of course, isn't allowed at all, and these types of people shouldn't be allowed to dictate the whole us in the entire country shouldn't be allowed to speak in the name of religion. And so if just one person, it's just one man, Haider, someone who's courageous, he just goes out and he has a differing opinion that makes sense, that challenges uh, the narrative of the government, um, he isn't even allowed to speak for three minutes. No. Because it's just too much for Erdogan. Erdogan is too afraid. It's very clear. So he has to send God knows how many, five, six policemen, it wasn't even clear, to stop this one man from saying the truth. And this is why our people have been imprisoned and hunted down all over the world. Iran, Algeria, Egypt, now Turkey. It is just because they have a different opinion. It is because these people have passion and they have faith. Can you not see it? Can you not see that this man has faith and is inspired by the servants of, he really is a lion. He is, it is time for this oppression to stop. Look at it. Enough. This is, this Haider, is just, was, Haider was very angry when he heard about the Algerians being detained and surveilled 24-7 through their phones, being uh, police vehicles camped outside of their homes, Iranian Ansar that are beaten up and uh, shot at and beaten uh, to death. And now uh, we have Haider here being, look, he's defending his religion. He's saying, hey, this is my religion. This is what I believe in here. You can see clearly that the police is trying, they just take off the flag from his hands and the and other guy the is, is trying to stop the recording. All the countries that are claiming to be upon the true religion, uh, you can see what it is they're doing. Yes, it is very clear. And, and, and someone like Erdogan shouldn't be allowed to walk into the European Union and say, I, uh, um, you know, I give my people freedom. No, I'm a progressive ruler. This is not progressive. What there, is there, this? Is, there are no human rights. There are no freedom of speech. There are no freedom of thought. There is nothing. Absolutely zero. Look at this. It's just one man and he is putting so much fear in Erdogan's uh, workers in the government that they have to shut him down after two minutes. All he says is the, Ram the month of Ramadan is in, in the month of December and uh, there's a new covenant and it's the seventh covenant. It is like Haider was inspired by the last speeches of Abu al-Sadiq that have been playing here on the channel um, where he has said it is enough uh, of the oppression of the Muslim nations and there is a new um, there he said, he, said he went came. out there to say enough is enough. Yes. I, uh, he was tired of the oppression that is happening to all the members of uh, the Ahmadi religion of peace and light all over the world. And um, he is also tired of uh, the Turkish government saying there's freedom of religion here or people are safe here um, because he knew exactly that either he hides what he believes in, he hides in his house and he doesn't mention it at his workplace, he doesn't mention it to his neighbors and friends because he might get reported and he just stays quiet and maybe uh, you know posts about it on the internet exactly. with, his, with, a, with a fake name or 
if he's proud in what he believes in and he wants the whole world to know and he wants to preach his faith like it is his human right, he will be detained. And he was right. That's exactly what happened. Yes. Um, it should be anyone's right to go out in the street like Haider did and say what he believes in and not be stopped by police officers. What are you so afraid of, Erdogan? I mean, I'm asking you, what are you so afraid of? Why can you not, why can you not let him speak? Why can you not let him bring his proofs? If you're so sure in what you believe in, then let him speak. Why are you silencing him? They're afraid. They're afraid of the truth. And the truth is that he is going to, the truth is going to make him lose everything because he knows very well that he is not the person that is, that can or is appointed by God to rule this country. And he has been, since he started 20 years ago, he has been stealing and oppressing the people of Turkey. And the truth will already, uh, obviously make him um, stop doing that. Yes. Stop losing all his wealth and money. And we have new updates from Hikmet. Hikmet, are you there? Alo? Alo? Yes. Yes, I hear. Yes, Hikmet. Do you have new updates? Do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, the update, uh, just uh, brother Sardar called me. He said that uh, they released Canal, but they deleted, uh, he, because he took the video, they deleted all the videos from his phone. And they are listening, but Hassan and Haidar are still in there in Esenyur police station. They are still in custody. Okay, and okay. Uh, the third person who was just taking a, a video, they deleted the video and let him go. Okay, so yeah, that's the update. Two um, members of the Ahmadi religion of peace and light still detained for any for anyone who just. Um, uh, tuned in. Yes, sir. Two members of the Ahmadi religion of peace and light is still detained for publicly preaching our faith uh, on the uh, square, on a public square in Istanbul today on Labor Day. Um, one of them who was filming the whole event, uh, his phone was confiscated, he was taken into custody, and the footage was deleted. So clearly, no freedom of press in. Turkey, um, in Erdogan's uh, supposedly uh, uh, free country, um, it is not allowed to film on a public square someone who is talking about his own uh, religion. So clearly, no freedom of religion in Turkey and no freedom of press. This has been proven by the Lion Haider. You know, we are really, uh, we're really so proud on on what he did. And at the same time, we're obviously also worried for him because uh, Turkey is not a safe place to be in for our members, you know. Um, neither is Algeria, neither is Iran, neither is Egypt. All these Muslim majority countries are not a safe place to be for our members and it's proven time and time and time again that they are not safe over there. They can't even for two minutes talk about what they believe in. Um, and yet, um, so just two minutes, they talk about uh, our tenets of faith, and yet they are detained immediately. Here we see it again, um, stopped, the flag is taken from him, and he is detained. So this is what it is. Um, Turkey is definitely not a country of free speech or of freedom of religion. It is clear you can see the guy shows his ID. Yeah, he police. flashes his police ID, um, so clearly two undercover cops. Um, for anyone who just tuned in, we just uh, got updates from Hikmet that so two uh, of the believers in Turkey are still detained for preaching their religion on a public square. One has been released, but the phones were taken and the videos of the event were deleted. Um, clearly, they are so afraid um, of what Haider had to say, that they had to confiscate the phone. And okay, we just heard that they actually didn't release anybody, not even... Not even Canon. Not even Canon. Yeah. So Canon is also still in custody, but the, f the video, was, um, video was deleted. So this is uh, the government of Turkey. This is Erdogan. Uh, we had 
Um, for example, you were just talking about uh, the media and about the religious organizations in Turkey. Uh, for example, the Turkish government was also um, launching an investigation on Spotify. I'm sure everyone uh, knows the platform uh, where you can create playlists and listen to music. And that is because Spotify allowed certain playlists with what they called um, heretical or blasphemous names. Like, for example, songs got listened to while exiled. Adam from Paradise or God's ringtone. So the Turkish government found that so blasphemous that Spotify allows such playlist names that they actually um, decided to prosecute them and investigate into uh, Spotify themselves. This is what they spent the tax money on, you know? Yes. Like you were saying yesterday, people are starving in Turkey and you're launching an is investigation into the playlist on Yeah, Spotify. it was the prosecutor of uh, Istanbul. <laughs> yes. He has nothing to do. There is there is no crime happening. All you care about is right now is going to is um, charging Spotify for having I mean there's not even music it's just a playlist with a name yes and he's like oh how can you have this name exactly this is uh, absolutely ridiculous this is what the Turkish government is getting you know getting busy with um, and all of this because of article 216 of the Turkish penal code which uh, states that if you insult the religion of Islam in any way um, you can be uh, persecuted, prosecuted in Turkey. Um, and in 2019, we had 9,000, 9,000, over 9,000 investigations into something like this. And now we are worried, and for everyone who just tuned in, that Haidar, um, one of the members of the Ahmadi religion of peace and light, is facing uh, the same fate because he publicly... Um, went on a square in Turkey and talked about our faith. And he was detained um, by, a mem mem by a number of policemen. And he was trying to practice his human right, the freedom of speech, of talking about what he believes in, that he believes in the Ahmadi religion of peace and light, and that he believes that there's a seventh covenant that was sent down uh, to earth. And this right was taken from him, as we have seen live. And he's now in a police station, separate, separated uh, from his family, separated from everyone. And we don't know what is going to happen now. He will now most probably stay there in custody for uh, God knows how long until a court date is set. Yes. So this is usually, um, so this is, this is all it takes to be thrown into a Turkish prison and wait for a court date. Um, you go out on a public square, and w what was he saying again in Turkish? He was just saying that a seventh covenant. He was saying down. the second, a seventh covenant that Adam came and that successorship went down from uh, prophet to prophet. The people have broken their covenant by disobeying God, and this is how it went down to Prophet Muhammad, and then they continued killing his family, the Ahl al-Bayt and that the, we have a chance now to uh, redeem from all those mistakes that have been done by the past in accepting the Seventh Covenant. And he talked about the changes. He said the, f the fasting that you've been fasting is uh, different from uh, uh, what the Prophet Muhammad came with. The Quran is different than the Quran than uh, what the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam came with. and. He said that it is time to wake up. You know, it is the seventh covenant is here. When the time comes, the matter will be difficult upon the people. That's when he afterwards said these things. And he is now, yeah. I guess this is not. This was not well received this because you can received. clearly see that there yeah. were people around it. Yes. And undercover cops were there too, most probably listening in Watch until they have the taken beginning. action. Yeah. Yes. Let's watch the clip on the Gelecek! Azabın ayak sesleri her yerde! Depremler, kusurabiler, felaketler her yerde! İlahi adalet devleti, yeryüzünün Davud'un mührü, Süleyman'ın mührü artık tüm dünyada, bizler tüm dünyada rahat ve huzur içinde yaşamıyoruz. Elimizi açıkça
Kaim. Kaim kıyametinde deli bir deniyle gelecek. İnsanlara zor gelecek. Yes, this was Haider calling the people towards the truth. Again, for anyone who just tuned in, uh, we just came on um, to uh, announce the breaking news, which is that Haider uh, went on a public square in Turkey today on Labor Day to announce uh, his faith, to freely talk about what he believes in. And um, he was, after two, three minutes, arrested on live television um, undercover cops as well as Turkish police in uniform came. They took the flag from him. We see it right here. And they told him to stop. Um, they took him and for now he is detained. And uh, so is uh, are his brothers who were filming him. So we are going to uh, keep you posted. Any updates, we're going to come back on um, and uh, tell you more about this breaking news. And we're going to keep you updated on uh, Hassan's, uh, on the developments in Hassan's case. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching and uh, stay tuned.